Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin with The Heated Skillet. Today, I'm gonna to be recreating the famous Wendy's Chili. So you're gonna need a little bit of ingredients for this one. Um, so let's just get right to it. You're gonna need red kidney beans, pencil beans, oregano, sugar, chili powder, garlic, cayenne pepper, cumin, uh, salt, pepper, celery, green peppers, onions, tomato puree, uh, stewed tomatoes, and tomato juice. And I'm making a fairly large pot. Um, so this is what we're making today. And I like leftovers. So if you don't like leftovers, cut this recipe in half. The only problem with cutting the recipe in half is you're gonna be, you're gonna have to find a use for half of this somewhere else if you, if you can't find it 32 ounces. So this recipe is based around having one can of puree and uh, one of these. Because if I cut it in half, then I have half this left over and you're gonna have half this left over. And I'm trying to reduce the waste of the food because with chili, it's better the next day even than cooking it, cook it the same day. So you could put it in the freezer, come back out a couple months later, you know, one or two months, maybe three, probably up to six months. You can put that in a Ziploc bag, or if you have a food saver, put it in a food saver, put it in the freezer, and it's fantastic. So what I want to do is take you through the steps of cooking the chili because there is a process of cooking chili. You just don't throw it all in at one time. So I want to take you through that process. I'm going to take you over to my skillet, and we'll walk you through the process. So hopefully you enjoy this type of video. If you do, consider subscribing to my channel. And at the end of this, if you stick around, I'm going to give you exactly what all of this costs versus what it costs at Wendy's Chili. So the Wendy's Chili is $2.89 and you get this amount, right? So we're going to put all of this together, see how many cups of chili that we can make with our ingredients and how much it costs per cup at the very end. So stick with me and let's move over to the skillet. So the first thing you want to do is add your ground beef. Okay, that looks about right. Now we're going to strain this grease off it. We don't want that grease in our chili. So with the residual grease that we have in there, we want to saute our onions. Next will be the garlic, but you don't want to put the garlic in too early because you'll burn the garlic and that, that's never a good taste. This doesn't take long because this pot is pretty hot. We're going to leave it on high until we get everything put in there. That's about right. So next we want to add our garlic. Celery. Next, green peppers. Remember, my burner is still on high. Next is the tomato juice. So as you can see, we're gonna have a lot of chili. And I know it may look soupy at the moment, bear with me. We'll get the beans added in and the meat added back in there and it won't be so soupy. So while we're adding tomatoes, let's go ahead and add our, our stewed tomatoes and our puree. Now that we have all that in there, we're gonna let it set out for just a minute and let this heat up. So let's go ahead and add the beans, then the red kidney beans. Let's go ahead and add the chili powder, the cayenne, the pepper, the salt, and the cumin, the sugar, and the oregano. And thoroughly mix this in It looks like it's incorporated pretty good. And we want to add our beef back in and then incorporate it into the chili. So it looks like we've got it incorporated well. So that's kind of what our chili is going to look like. Nice and meaty. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. But we got a long way to go as far as time before this chili is going to bring off that nice flavor that we're looking for. So if you're going to add a top, put it out here like this. 
Well, I'll put it right here so you see it. So I leave a little gap. It's that easy. Once you put your top on, you want to turn your burner down to low and let it simmer for at least one hour, preferably probably two and a half to three hours. So after three and a half hours, we're back with the chili and we got a comparison coming up here in just a minute between my chili and Wendy's chili so I can try to identify side by side, and I've never actually compared side by side, uh, what Wendy's chili flavors are versus my chili. All right, so let's get to tasting my chili. And something very important too, you never have chili without a grilled cheese. It's just wrong. So let me taste this. I, I don't want to put the cheese in this because I want to taste this. And you can see it's hot. I want to taste this. My mouth's watering in comparison to Wendy's. Mm. That's very good. You're gonna like this if you like a bold flavor. So if you're looking for something not so intense with flavor, then maybe you wanna pull back on the chili powder just a tad, but this is the way I like it. I love it just like this. I wouldn't change a thing. So let me try the Wendy's chili. I'm gonna tell you guys, side by side, my chili is better. And I'm not just saying that. You're gonna, when you try these side by side, you're gonna see that there's a there's a big difference between the two as far as sweetness. If you like very sweet chili, then you may not like mine as well as this, because I didn't sweeten this as much as Wendy's actually does. This tastes very sweet to me. Let me just taste the sauce. Yeah, it's very light and it's pretty sweet. So if you're looking for a sweet flavor for my chili, what you'd wanna do is pull back on the chili powder by one tablespoon and probably add an additional two tablespoons of sugar. So that's how you would adjust to try to get closer to this flavor. I like my bold flavor way better and I like my chili spicy. So I put one tablespoon of cayenne in it. So if you don't like spicy, definitely pull that out of it because it will be spicy. Uh, Wendy's chili is not spicy at all. So I'm not knocking Wendy's chili. I, I've liked it for 25 years and I still like it today. It's just, I like my chili a lot better. It's just for my taste. I like a bold chili and you never want to eat it without a grilled cheese. All right, as promised, I said I was going to tell you guys exactly how much my chili costs to make. It was $12.10 that made the entire pot of chili. It makes literally 15 of these. So I pay almost three bucks for this, times that by three, $45 what it would cost if I bought this chili at Wendy's, it cost me $12.10. And something extra that I wanna share with you about Wendy's chili that I'm not gonna be able to imitate, and probably no one out there is gonna be able to imitate because they've done so much research on their beef what they do, they use leftover beef. So they cook up their beef, and then if it doesn't sell within a certain amount of time, then they chop, they'll, they'll put it back in the freezer or back in the cooler, and it's only sitting there for a certain amount of time. They never freeze their meat, so they say. But they put it back in the cooler, and if it sits there for, I don't know, it's, I think it's like 30 minutes. If it doesn't sell, they toss it. But they're trying to reduce food waste, so they use that meat that they cook for the burgers, that they didn't sell enough burgers, they end up chopping that up and putting it in their chili. It's not that it's a bad thing, it's still safe for you. It's just, you know, that's something I didn't know when I did a little research and I thought that would be interesting to share with you guys. So if you like this chili, give me a thumbs up on this video and consider subscribing to this channel and tapping that notification bell so the next time I put out a video, you get notified on whether it's a drink that I make on Fridays or it's these type of dishes that I come up with to share with you guys. Uh, on Mondays, and I'll maybe even get more frequent with that, but it will always be a Monday and Fridays for when I deliver you foods on Monday and drinks on Fridays. So if you would, again, give me a thumbs up on the video, leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, and until next time, it's a wrap. And tap the notification bell so you get notified. Ooh.
Look at that. There's a bee. 